Okay, so today we beat another extreme super battle road. This time being one of the category ones, and that is Majin Buu Saga category. So we used a full free to play team. We're going to run down through the team and the process of how to beat this super battle road with this high difficulty event. Now, before the video starts, make sure you are make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're trying to hit that 60,000 subscribers and leave a like on this video, especially uh, we're trying to, I want to try and hit a like goal this time because we've been posting all these Super Battle Royale videos. This is probably the last one for a while because now I'm up to that point where um, it's all the hard ones where it requires multiple tries to like perfect the run. And this one I actually did in first try. So if we can hit like 1,000 likes, that'd be awesome. I haven't hit 1K likes in a very long time. And yeah, double check that you are subscribe make sure you click on the red button check out all my social medias in the description you know 50 percent of the people that watch these videos aren't even subscribed so like if you if you do the maths right if the 50 percent of the people you know actually did it we'd hit a hundred thousand subscribers how cool would that be but anyway that's like a dream come true for me let's go through the team all right so as you can tell like hands free no we, we, this was pre-recorded so um, I can talk about the, like everything, my thought process, pretty clearly. Uh, so that's great. And as you can see, I did record this video, or started recording this video, this run through, halfway in between the first fight, uh, because I didn't. It is this was my first attempt, and I really didn't expect to like do such a good run. I don't know what happened during the first part of the fight where I was like, okay, this is the run. I got to record it. Uh, maybe because I was like, you know what? Just in case, I'll just record it. Uh, if I win, because right now it looks pretty grim. It looks pretty bad. But we've taken out Super Saiyan 2 Goku, so now we're on to March of Vegeta. And with this, it's easy to focus on one enemy. Because this team is really good when versing one enemy, so that's the best part about this team. Anyway, let's run down the team. As our leader, we have Deborah and Babidi from the Battlefield Shop. Uh, they're too duped. Um, they're really, really good. Uh, not only providing good lead skill, but the synergy with this team. Not with links, but like through everybody's effects. This guy works really, really well. Um, uh, pretty much to sum things up, he gets extra attack and defense if the enemy that you're targeting is a lowered attack or defense and extra key as well. So it's easy to get his 18 key super. His super attack mechanics, 12 key allows him to seal. His 18 key allows him to stun with a high chance, which is awesome. Um, so I built him with a lot of additionals in mind of that because he, that works well in super battle road. Uh, so maybe you get the stun and the seal. Although that wouldn't make sense on one enemy, but like if you failed to stun, then you get the chance to seal. You know what I mean? Uh, then also, if the enemy is stunned or sealed, so if you know another unit that can stun or seal uh, targets the same enemy that you are targeting with the Baron Barbity, it's a guaranteed critical, which is so important, especially in the last fight, because the last fight they changed the typing of the Jito. Uh, in the normal Super Battle Road, he's actually physical. Which is fairly easy because now we have this new leader, Goku and Vegeta, that we're running here, which is STR. And imagine how quick you could beat that stage now with this guy running as your friend leader, or just double. So I understand that Dokkan changed the typing just so it makes it more difficult. It's not impossible to beat, it's just inconvenient. Um, so yeah, I love Vegeta as our friend leader. He's the only like non-pay to play unit that we have, but he's a friend, so it counts. There's no way we could have gotten this far without them. So uh, the, they have good defense, good attack. They have damage reduction built into it. So they're defensively fine. Um, of course, you still got to be cautious when versing uh, the AGL Vegito because even the damage reduction will not save you from despair. Uh, so to help with that, we have some lowering attack units. So we have Hercule and Boo, which they lower attack with the super attack. Uh, they have damage reduction built into them and chances to dodge. So they're a great defensive unit and they are a support for Majin Buu Saga. Making everybody, you know, super attack easier without that much key um, and defensively better. As you can see, we have the King Candy Vegito. Now, we, usually I always hate on Candy Vegito, but I will retract all that because he was so clutch in that last phase. You have to see to the very end. Watch the very end. Like, this run is spectacular in every way. Like, if I was live streaming this, my reactions would be out of the roof. Not only did he just dodge that super attack, which could have killed us. Because, you know, he's not defensively that good. Okay, I was hoping he would stun, but he didn't stun. <laughs> he just saved us. He's going to dodge this super attack again. Boom. Right there. 
Perfect, right? Perfect. I'm glad he dodged those. Then the run would have definitely been over. Um, anyway, like I said, with Debora, if you seal an enemy, uh, you do get, or stun the enemy, you get the critical. So Candy Vegeta helps with that medium chance and also Great Saiyan 1 and 2, which seals through their 12 key super. They also support in defense, boosting up uh, allies' defense by, I think, 50% or something like that. So that's really, really good. And, um, yeah. I mean, when you're lowering the attack as well with Mr. Boo or Hercule and Boo, you, you just take lo no damage whatever. And we've got another lowering attack unit in here as well, which is the Tech Mr. Boo from the World Tournament. Awesome card. Lowers attack through the super attack. Changes orbs, especially when you have three LRs, although... You know, one of the LRs, you only want the 12-key super. It's just really nice to just be able to collect a lot of orbs in general. Uh, especially with Candy Vegito requiring a lot of orbs to, like, defend well or do a lot of damage. Uh, just having an orb change is really nice. And he's good defensively. And, the you know, more lowering attack, the better, especially on that last phase. And he's got type advantage. So, really, really good unit. And then the final unit that we have in here which is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He is just there because he can do a lot of damage. I like that he can do type effective, I think, at the first three turns, which is really good. Makes him a strong unit to bring. Um, he's got a solid amount of attack and defense. If he transforms, I forget what he has, but uh, if it, with Mr. Boo or with any of the Boos, really, I th no, with Hercule and Boo, if Hercule and Boo is still on there, which is most likely, depending on the situation, he gets... Hercule and Boo gets... Oh, he gets something. I forget what... He gets... He's... What's it called? The, the... The... The synergy attack. That's the one. Oh, right there. Why I took so long to grab, like, orbs and stuff is because I didn't know if I wanted, you know, positive negative, like, type advantage type disadvantage tanking or if i wanted uh double neutral so i went with double neutral there because gotenks was only hitting in the middle so we could have got type advantage in the, the middle slot and the, but then have type disadvantage on the last spot maybe it would have been better to switch it around because we already knew that gohan was sealed so really right there gotenks could have ended the run or like done a lot of damage to us if he just super attacked there but luckily he did not super attack so we were safe um and then with Deborah and Babu's high defensive stat and high attack stat, we were able to, you know, tank uh, Gohan's hits. But yeah, like the, the Mr. Boo or Hercule and Boo, when they transform into Mr. Boo, then with Goku on the field, they have uh, guard against all attacks. So that's really good, especially when you've been building up defense. So here we had to get a Doku mode forcefully. As you can see, everybody has max key. So even if you grabbed non-colored orbs for that typing, uh, it would have resulted into a Doku mode. There was a few ways we could have ran this, but I think the most safest way was um, running Kettle Vegito doing it because you just hope that he dodged and then he stunned or else we'd be in big trouble. So the normal attack did 40,000. So we already... Gohan's already stunned, so that's fine. Uh, it's just... And we knew Piccolo was going to die here with this Dokomo because Dokomo's are AoE. And he's already on a sliver amount of HP. It would be very annoying if he actually lived this. But again, Gotenks was the, the uh, main problem. Um, and it was kind of risky putting the Goku in the, the middle slot. Because if he super attacked in the middle slot, we would have been dead again. <laughs> it was like so many moments where we could have died just because of RNG and you know everything went right I guess and luckily I was recording it that would be I would have been mad if I if I won this and didn't record it because then I'd have to redo it and this this was like a one in uh, at least 10,000 chance of happening like this run I'm pretty sure someone has done this already but if I'm wrong and if I'm the first that would be p kind of pog but I've already accepted the fact that I'm never gonna be anything the first time ever like be the first person to ever beat something um i feel like at the start of dokum battle when it was like it's like two year anniversary and stuff like that i was like the kind of guy to be the first to do stuff but not anymore everybody has grown everybody knows the meta anyway i haven't been paying too much attention on the gameplay i've just been trying to talk 
think to myself what happened. Just topics to talk about. I don't even know how many items we've used so far. I know that we leave this event with two items or this fight here. So we get two items versus Vegito and we used it pretty early. So I hope that's already explaining like how lucky we got already in that final fight. And, um, you know, Goku and Vegeta are doing their thing. Damage reduction here. We only take about 100,000 damage, which is great. And it just gets rid of the opportunity for them to super attack our last two enemy uh, people. I guess, like, Hercule and stuff is, like, super safe. And right there, um, I kind of feel like I did the right thing in the previous rotation where, you know, the positive and negative in um, tanking. Uh, where we put uh, Deborah in the last slot, and we just took like 40,000 from, from a normal attack right there. So I think in the end, we, we made some good decisions. Um, we risked when we needed to, and it worked out. And now it is time to figure out who I want to stun with and who I do not. So trying to stun um, the ultimate Gohan, the Candy Vegito, and then we wanted as much damage as we could on Gotenks, and we take him out in this rotation right here. Uh, and we all we had to do was rely on Candy Vegito to stun, to make us lose as minimal HP as possible. Surprise, though, we did not stun, and we didn't seal, so I was kind of like, uh-oh, this could end at any time. Uh, Deborah and Babidi don't even kill Go Tanks. It's close though. But they, they would, they'll take normal hits just fine. And then we use Spirit Bomb Goku to take out Go Tanks. And we took 50,000 for a normal hit. So, yeah, we would have taken a lot of damage right there if that was a super attack. We transform here, obviously. Luckily for us, we that those two fifty thousands did end up um, crocking the fusion, which makes us heal back. And now we can foresee enemy super attacks, which didn't really matter anyway in the end, because we had a great same man attacking at the start, which nullifies the uh, super attacks by sealing them. Now we, I was thinking, ha, huh, we could we could get those double the double counters right there if I put. Uh, Vegeta at the end, but I was thinking about what I wanted to do over versing Vegito Because this is at this point. I was like, okay, what's what kind of rotations are we looking for? Are we do I want type advantage lowering attack with? Um, Boo in the main rotation when I start off versing Vegito or do I want the damage output potential with? Um, Super Vegito because even though Super Vegeta has type disadvantage, if he gets a crit, it really just blocks all of that, and we still do a big amount of damage. Not the most amount of damage, but good enough damage. 1.7 mil. This critical gets a, uh, this counter gets a critical right here as well. So one mil, and um, because we're sealed, Boo can lower attack, and I think we start tanking for double digits. Yeah. So with the seal happening, we were like, we could finish things off here. I put Deborah confidently. I was like, oh, do I put Deborah here to finish things off? He's guaranteed the critical here. Guaranteed the 18 feet super. There's no way he doesn't kill Gohan, right? Right. <laughs> and I was also thinking, what stunner, or what kind of stun strategy do I want? Because stunning is going to be super important right here. There is no way we are beating Vegito like in an instant. I knew going into the fight is going to be a long and dreadful one. So how can I, uh, you know, what is the best strategy in terms of stunning? Do I want to sustain as much HP as possible and live as long as possible? We could, uh, we could run the um, the double stun in one rotation. So Candy Vegito and Deborah and Barbadi. That way, it's more more than likely to stun, right? So you have the medium chance and the high chance. That way, you're like almost guaranteed to stun. But then if you don't stun, it's game over, right? Because those two can't really tank that well. Well, Kenny Vegeta can dodge and he has type advantage, but Deborah definitely cannot. Or do we run them separate in separate rotation, putting them in main rotation and then hoping and playing our cards right? To run the double, the like the double procking and stun. 
So I decided to have them both separated as we killed with Hercule right there. We did take a big hit um, because De Bruyne didn't finish things off. Unfortunately, would have been great to live with some decent amount of HP, but that's fine because in the end, um, our strat was still the same. Ghost Usher here. So then we can seal the enemy. Don't have to take any hits with Goku and Vegeta, which was the most important thing. And um, then Princess Snake to heal up and damage reduction and hope that the damage reduction is stacking with Hercule and Boo, uh, Candy Vegito's type advantage, and... No, Candy Vegito's floating. Um, <laughs> Hercule and Boo, Hercule and Boo's lowering attack and, uh, you know, the Bora tanking, hopefully. And then we also have another lowering attack unit, Mr. Boo. So yeah. Anyway. 18 key super, all that good stuff. You'll see how little and how much damage a critical can do and how little damage a non-critical can do. Get the seal. That was the most important thing. Uh, 18 key super. This one gets a critical, which is nice. This is a 2 do Vegito. So it wasn't the best, but it was still good enough. Uh, as long as it had like the most potential on critical hits and additional super attacks and all that cool stuff. And here we go. We did a chunk. It's not a lot, but uh, it's it's hard work, you know. Uh, we did not get the stun, obviously, because there was no stunners on that rotation. Uh, so in order to really survive, we needed Barbity and the board to really carry the team here. I felt pretty safe, though. Hopefully. Oh, I think I was feeling safe at that point, but it was like, what can we do, right? We can... We just play for the stuns, lower intact, and ceiling. Or. Just die. Really. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we got double supers from Hercule and Boo, which was actually so clutch. I think that was like one of the most important moments right there, because that made us tank for double digit damage. I think without that additional super attack, we might have just not, like, we would have taken a lot of damage. And at this point, with no items, you kind of want to keep as much HP as, as possible. And then we got the additional super attack with the Mr. Boo, so it meant, like, any normal attacks at this point, I felt pretty confident. I feel like if you load the enemy's attack four times in one turn, you're pretty good until those four super attacks expire. Um, here is where the run went from we could do this to uh oh <laughs> we needed a stun here i i feel like i feel like we i mean even though we lowered the attack just a super attack on the end right there would have mean bad luck but luckily for us candy vegeto actually does something and he stuns he stuns he stuns you're gonna see him stun so many times and i i don't know if it's because my candy vegeto is fixed now but the medium chance, we just rolled the dice and we hit every single one. Literally rolling a dice and hitting at least one or a two. Pretty much every single time we hit the, uh, a stun. Which, if you've rolled a dice, is pretty pretty rare. It's like a 30% chance. <laughs> Mathematically. Anyway. So, we're, we, so yeah, we stun here and then... You know, we're, we're pretty much allowed to do anything at this point. Rotations don't change throughout this whole battle. I always keep um, Hercule and Boo together with uh, Deborah and Barbadi. The support just helps. Um, and then if, you know, Hercule does end up transforming, you know, they have that Link skill, Master of Magic. But, because we stun so many times, we don't proc the passive skill, or their transformation, the active skill, because... You know, we're not taking hits. That's uh, the requirement for Hercule and Boo. And, uh, yeah, it, we're four or five turns in now, and we are not even halfway. <laughs> Doka mode's coming very soon. That was also something I was banking on, hoping that would help me out in a, a dreadful situation. Trying to find the 18 key super. There it is with the oranges, the yellows. And here we go, another risky situation. Do we get the stun, or do we have to take all those hits in the middle? Let's find out right now. Bang, stun. 
It's all the stuns. The stuns come in clutch. So right now, I think Candy Vegeta is two for two. 1.2 mil for the 18 key super, which was nice. And we'll just keep on lowering attack just in case, you know, one of our stuns don't work. So we grab all those blues for uh, Barbadi. Get that 18 key super. Just figuring out um, how do I get a 12 key super or keep a 12 key super with Great Saiyan Man. And I just went with that. Keep those greens for Candy Vegito. Doka mode here, by the way. I just remembered. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we use it on the Burin Barbity, which I think was one of the best decisions or best ways to get the Doka mode, best unit to get a Doka mode. Because he's guaranteed the crit because the enemy's stunned. And not only that, he, we've lowered his attack, so he gets the extra boost. So he's more than likely going to do more damage than if we did a Doka mode with a Goku and Vegeta. Unless Goku and Vegeta critical hits, then that might change. But that was probably our best situation there. And we also had the support from Majin Buu and Hercule. So that was really good. Um, but... Yeah, with no stunning, even though we we um, didn't stun there, I didn't feel too, like, crazy scared because we've lowered the attack so many times. We're not going to take a super attack. Maybe Super Saiyan 3 Goku lets us down. But I think even if he lets us down with some decent damage, there's, like, no possibility of him, you know, losing for us. It would just be, like, really risky for the next phase. The next turn. I couldn't get a super attack with him. Um, which is why I was... I was trying to get one. with While Goku and Vegeta... While getting Goku and Vegeta's key. But orbs didn't fall. The way I wanted to. And they didn't create the colors that I wanted to. Candy Vegeta once again with a super attack. Stuns the enemy. Gee, man. 12 key super does that not do much. Is this one? Is this one a critical? Yeah, eight hundred twenty-two thousand. See, it's not as not as good. Here, uh, I think Mr. Boo at the very end, the tech one has Master of Magic, which is why I put Deborah and Barbadi in the middle first here. And not only that, we get I think we get more blues from there, and then we still get two Rainbow Orbs, which I guess is not really necessary, but helps in the end. Guys, we're getting close to the end. His health is slowly getting down there. I think there's like two more turns. If you're enjoying this video so far, remember to subscribe. Check out all my social medias in the description, please. And leave a like on this video. Debora is so cool. And he finally, he finally got the stun. He finally got the stun. But I don't think it mattered because I think Candy Vegeta hits the double stun. I think he gets an additional super attack here. And he hits the double stun. I don't know what happened to him, but he just became a maniac on stunning. I grabbed these oranges because um, I didn't really need them. Great Saiyan wasn't going to grab them because that was too much for a 12 key super. I'm pretty sure he hits the double super and then he double stuns. Yeah, there's the first stun, the additional super. He almost hit a million attacks, though, which is kind of nice. Yep, that's the double stun. Imagine getting, imagine getting that luck. Six hundred fifty-eight thousand. Even we done, we're gonna get the additional super attack here, right? You can't even see Vegito's health, but he still lives. Look at him. He's he's still living. Like that one little pixel is probably like a million health. <laughs> This is why I like Doka, man. One of these hard events. Like, you just don't know who's going to finish off the enemy. Like, that one pixel could be any amount of HP. But since we got the stun here, it's pretty much game over. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Leave down in the comment section, you know, what other super batteries do you think is possible for free-to-play with the ones that I haven't done so far. 
I'm looking at like all the extreme super battle roads for super typings. Even the super extreme super battle road, if I got lucky on that. But it's really hard. I've been trying. Uh, the, my next one I've been thinking of trying to do, which I feel like is possible depending on item usage, is movie buses. But anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I know it's the third time asking, but make sure, you know, maybe people will skip to the end of the video. And yeah, I'll see you in uh, tomorrow's video. Until then, check out all my social medias to keep up with me. Twitter, Discord, uh, Reddit, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.